What is up guys? Have a fun deck for you today. Today's deck is some elves. And none of the trap stuff, it's just normal traditional elves. Now because it's just a really good deck, you're still going to see good results, or fairly good results, in the current meta. But this deck's probably fallen a little bit out of favor. And I think the reason why is because a lot of decks just have a lot of um, damage on command and ways to just take out units. And so if they start killing your kind of elf swarm, you're in a little bit of trouble, you know. And then the other thing is, because bleeding's so heavy, this deck is definitely all in. Like, you don't have a really good round one, but you have a phenomenal round three type deal. But you get smashed in round one, and then they bleed out all your good stuff in round two. Your short round and round three can be very questionable, or a shorter round is, like... If you lose Vernacial scenario, like you're really dead. But it, it can vary. Um, if you do manage to get round control, well, you're in a pretty good spot for a decent round three. But I guess that's just something to note here. This deck definitely is as strong as it once was in the current state. Some interesting choices we have here are I am throwing in a Maxi, even though we already have Aileron and Oniromancy. Just as much thinning and carryover and knowing what we're drawing into as you we can possibly have in a deck we're almost going to kind of go for it because we have to draw golds in this like the bronze package of elves has always been kind of questionable like they're all right it's just kind of there um it, it's your golds that are just absolutely phenomenal so we any chance we can have to make sure we get that we're going to take it but anyways we got some interesting games for you i think you guys will really like it and uh can learn a couple things from it so Let's hop into the games. Bog. This will be an interesting matchup. I don't think it'll go so great for us, but it'll be an interesting matchup. Okay, Mulligan's here. Movement is really nice. I don't think Purify here is super... Well... I take that back. Tier V. Sometimes they use that, but at the same time, sometimes they don't. I think we'll roll with that. So we go. Obviously, this. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Booster up. Look at this. Value. You're dead already. Value. Okay, the purifier actually could have come in handy a bit. But, uh, not too unsatisfied. That's gonna be our movement. I promise you a quick death. So we hit this, we go here. Onward, Fryhead! Hey, we're actually setting up in a good spot. We're denying their engine value. They get their train of engines going. Oh, it's nasty. Burn the homes! Build it so... green! Get shiny! Plunder! This just sets up for a really good Blood Eagle if we go with that. So I think we would need to do this. I never miss. He has it regardless, but I'd rather him Blood Eagle like a non engine than this. Of course, I guess he could have it on the Swordmaster, but he's not going to. Too bad we don't have Squirrel. Ha <laughs> ha! Reasons for the feeble of heart! Oh, Gunning slash. 
That's fair. We'll drop this and I think we'll pass He's next turn. No chance. He could potentially tempo ahead. Okay, he's not unless he clicks. God save us. He's a madman. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and pass here though. If I could kill the Herkia, like I still had my sword master down, I would and like use million. But if we play another elf, Teruvial comes out. Er, not Teruvial, sorry, sorry, Aelorin comes out. We'd like to save her. Okay, he's setting up graveyard. Uncrate! He's gonna shell out a lot of points. Yeah, so... Do we just lose to Iced? Squirrel is not good anymore. Gonna take Mulligan under that. Well, we have to Mulligan that. Ugh. Why? Look at all these golds we're missing. He passes. Thank goodness. Um. This is gonna be our worst card, right? Ryan! Please. Draw golds. I mean, that's about all that's left in the deck, right? <laughs> Come on, baby. Okay, that gets a scenario. We need to take one more, though. Well! That, that really sucks. Like, really sucks, because that would be really good removal for us. But we uh, we'll lead with this. Let us sing the song of steel. Get our engine piece down. See if he can answer it. He can't answer it. Okay, then we'll get this engine piece down. Good at us. Don't dare think you can escape. Scenario will go off because they won't have heat wave. They're gonna be devotion. At least I assume they would be. Okay, there's Harold. Up and at him, you lazy bastards! You'll sleep when you're dead! Okay. Kill the sons! Steal the lassies! They have last say. Should, should we heat wave that? Honestly, I think that's our heat wave, right? Like, what else is there going to be? It's kind of a weird heat wave. Like, obviously, we'd like to heat wave the Yutter or something. You son got three! Um, we need to kill that. Alright, we'll get Scenario going next turn because we do need to get that other engine get off and off. Warhawk Devarie! Okay, Teruvial. We can take out that Brock for Hunter with these two. Be kind of slow. So here comes Blood Eagle. No. Squirtle. Yeah. Turn courts. Why wouldn't you kill the one at five? Bear Witcher. Yeah. So we do have a waylay. 
So we can knock out two of these. Actually, what no, are you I gonna don't do? Really do. Huh? I was thinking we can maybe kill that, but we go here. Kiss bar in there. For the daisy of the valley! Okay, we're still we're still chilling with points here. We we're still chilling. All that dancing around. It's not for me. Now I mean when he shells out, you know, fifty billion points with ice, we lose. But we're still chilling with points here. Love is war. If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in hand. We well, at least managed to keep one engine down. Can't be too mad with that. Okay, and he doesn't get a death blow, blood eagle. I doubt that it really matters for him. But you know, we raise, I'm curious we if my heat wave choice was correct. In full the end. service. Alive. If we're gonna lose, it's not gonna be by a lot. I, I actually, I shouldn't even say that because Ice just shells out too many points. He'll certainly have the bloodthirst. Uh, actually, no. Style and storm! Yeah, he'll still get bloodthirst too. For the daisy of the valley! Time for you to die, Dwan! No mercy! Yeah, he still gets bloodthirst too. That kind of sucks. Man. Ah, oh, my beauteous Kalanth. Double the Oh, and it was an inconsiderate. <sighs> oh. So, no one Wait, else we, dares oh, face me. Bro, that was close. Oh my gosh, that. W Keep a stiff neck. So traps versus normal elves. Wait, at least a red coin. They probably run on your man see. So this gets one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. Uh, I'm uh, I'm a little tilted. Cause I had a game this deck against NR Witchers and I won uneven with red coin. Got the two card last say, and Let's I didn't draw my scenario, steel. and I didn't draw Heat Wave. Oniromancy was already gone because of a squirrel. <laughs> I'm going to get one engine going. Don't dare think you can escape. Then we'll go Vanguard. Honestly, Vanguard might just want to go for Bowman because we do have enough other cards where they're not getting insane value, like enough other non-elf cards. So, and especially when you're kind of running other proactive plays like uh, these Commandos and Swordmen. Oh, that was such a stupid placement of me. You're dead already. Golly, I am playing like hot trash. Death to humans! So yeah, I think that's probably make a change to the Blood and neck ends. Similian Vat. Slowly.
But yeah, we'll see if we start seeing some traps roll out. We'll get an idea of what they're playing. So far, it looks like they're just another, like we got a full on mirror matchup here. Ryan! Let's try and flush their alien out. Your best will avenge us, Duan! Okay, there's the traps. Okay, in two cards can we hit 17 points? Not likely. <laughs> Not likely. So what, we got 9 there, 15, I mean we could do like a leader charge if we had to. Sure. You can run, you can hide, but I'm gonna get ya. Heat wave is at the bottom, but we do have an airman, so we draw into that. Yeah, we kind of hit what we want a bit here. I don't know, I think I'm gonna shuffle it up. A little bit too spread out for some of them. Okay, tell me my math works. Oh shoot, that's a one power unit. Ugh. He might still play though. But yeah, I want his Aileren to like pop out. Like he plays another elf, that would work. That works too. Serpent Trap, okay. We will pass on that. And we at least have... I don't know. If we do get bled, you know, we'll get two uses of a Neuromancy unless the squirrel comes in. Um, so that's really handy. But at the same time, this guy probably just wants to go into a really uninteractive long round. Which kind of works for me. I think we need to kick squirrel here. Okay, we got the bonded there. Honestly though, they go on interactive, she's a little awkward. Okay, that's pretty good. I just had the bonded on it, like, if you kick one, the other one's kind of bad. You know what I mean? So might as well kick what's her face instead. So, we'll, we will just go ahead and throw this. Blood and neck ends. Similian va. So we'll mulligan that. Of course, we need to be a little careful. Uh, Yaven. That's probably what we really want. Though, again, uninteractivity here. So I might not have a lot of targets for that. We should take a mole again. Yes! A little risky, a little risky. But now we have a, a Neuromancy for some reactive things, kind of whatever we feel we need. Uh, good chance they have heat wave. May your sword and arm be one. I might want to save it. We'll get our sword master set up. Be mindful of how much we put onto one row because of crushing traps. Okay, we do have at least some interactivity. Shh. Do you hear? Man, I wish I had my Bowman now for just pure revenge. Swords I smile at, weapons laugh to scorn. Yeah, and we're just gonna kinda sit back, chill. Wait on our scenario. We can just maybe consistently keep that commando at three, and that sets up a good waylay. Uh, 
Hmm. Crushing trap would be really scary here, right? I think I'll just do this first. I like the way you die, human. Okay, it wasn't. Hmm. I was afraid of a crushing trap. Well, no, because he played it already. I, yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't use Ibor. So, yeah, that was kind of stupid of me. I should have went Scenario then. Because now, if Ibor, or Ibor, however you say it, drops, uh, a little scary. So, crushing yeah, trap's definitely one of those. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Well, we're gonna go this now. We await the signal. Till then, don't budge. Bry gets heat waved. We have a nice Elias. Now this Elias is definitely better, you know. Uh, it's more consistent than the other version. But the other version was so nice because you melee Vernaciel to damage your opponent's side. And then you had um, Isengrim to boost up your side. And then this was just like a nuclear bomb. It hit the opponent's side again and boosted up your side. Again, it wasn't good in every matchup. But, man, it had some power. So... Go here. I do what I must. If I'm to die, I'll do so sword in hand. Nice. We will take back what was stolen. Okay, both crushing traps are out, so I actually need to stack a row to get good um, Yaven value. Of course, we could Yaven here to kill that, so get it down to three. So we need to do seven damage, so Yaven counts himself. So we need three here so that gets that to four six seven eight ah no but we gotta fit Vernaciel that's unfortunate I guess we could do it up here in melee I mean we have the same number of elves okay I wonder what he's gonna create don't leave me here uh, could be crushing, so play this. Yes, one. For the daisy of the valley. Serpent trap. That is fine. So we're doing good on points here, but he hasn't dropped scenario yet. Of course, we, we do have the answer for that. We we got ours to go fully off, so can't be too upset with that. Um, however, this matchup turns out for better or worse. At least got to fully proc it. Kind of ironic that I'm liking that after my recent Gwent tips and discussion thing talking about that. How much I hate that. Okay, let me make sure that he has played his crushing trap or pitfall trap. Man, if I've been saying Crushing Trap the whole time when I meant Pitfall Trap, I am so sorry. What would that be? Horn? My heart if holds no die, forgiveness for I'll traitors. I'll do so sword in hand. So we could put one leader here and have a pretty nasty Yaven onto that. Step carefully. You're in my forest way. now. We shall drive the ape men into the sea. Yeah. So he still hasn't done scenario. Is he gonna like melee Vernasu? 
I was thinking we could potentially just heat wave that, you know? And try and use Yaven to take out one of these. But he could still drop scenario. Rocket. Yeah, we're still gonna say that, so we'll go Yaven here. For the Daisy of the Valley! I'm gonna rope out here. Ah. We were not the ones to start this war. This is going to be interesting. If he had, I really hope he has scenario, because this could be. Uh... To die. Okay, here I'll comes Melee Varnasu. All I ask is that you at least hit that once. We shall retake the cities that were stolen from us. So we're not getting a better heat wave, right? Like, what is it, his last two cards going to be? I think we're losing, though, right? We should just go ahead and deny an L for the Isengrim. And I should I should not have put that dead eye. Down there, would that have made a difference? Yeah, there's definitely been some mistakes this game. I was just, I'm really sitting here thinking, like, where did the huge difference come from? Humans are not to be trusted. Maybe I should have just recognized I was horn and heat wave that. I was just really expecting scenario. Well, we got a lot of points here. Let us hope it is enough. No mercy. We had more elves than him, so our Isengrim was better. Now nah, he still wins. Yeah, Isengrim wins it for him. That is, that is really frustrating. Right yeah, Vernasio melee should just killed one of those dead eyes.